Sasha, play Italian dinner party music. I swear, one of these videos, I'm going to put myself together a little bit. My hair is always a mess. I'm never wearing makeup. I'm always dressed in sweatshirts and sweatpants, but uh, sometimes it just is like that, you know? Good afternoon. It is currently 12.25 p.m. on a Thursday. I am having the worst acid reflex today. I don't know what is going on, but my chest is so tight. It's like, if you've ever experienced acid reflux, like you know that feeling and ugh. we're gonna push through. I have to work today, so I figured why not film a day in the life of a dance teacher video. I teach about four days a week. Sorry, I'm like holding my chest because my acid reflux. I teach about four days a week and I figured why not show you guys what that process is kind of like. So typically on a day where I teach, I do work out in the mornings, but I had a little issue with my gym membership. It's a long story, but basically I had to cancel my membership back in New York because that's where I initially opened up my membership and then I have to re-sign up in California. It's a whole thing, but um, I can't go to the gym today because of that. So. I feel like it's such a nice day out today, so I'm going to take Olivia for a really long walk, which will give me some exercise, and then obviously teaching is, I wouldn't consider it exercise, but I'm definitely on my feet, so yeah. Okay, um, earlier this morning, I cleaned my entire apartment. I vacuumed in my bed, in my dishes, picked up anything that was just laying around, because Thursdays in particular are my longer days. I'm usually working for about like six to seven hours. So it's really important that especially on Thursdays when I get home later that my space is really clean and I can just relax and have dinner and like wind down for the night. So that's what I did this morning. I made a really healthy, delicious breakfast and now I'm probably gonna work on some stuff on my laptop, journal a little bit, and then I'm going to get ready for work. I literally just sat down and O-L-I-V-I-A was laying in her C-R-A-T-E this entire time because she likes to sleep in there. And the minute I sit down in this chair, she gets up and has to come sit on my lap. I don't know what it is about this chair. She's very possessive over it. So anytime I sit here, she needs to sit here with me. And it's not a big chair. So you can only imagine the space that I lose once she's on my lap. Yep, here she is. What are you doing? She's giving me the look, you know, the look. Do you want to come up here? Oh my gosh. Ah, here we go. Come on, get up here. Come on, make the jump. Good girl. And it's like the space that I was gonna use to journal is now taken by something else. So let's let's see if we can work around this. Put this pillow here. We lay on the pillow, okay? We can lay on the pillow. Can you lay down? Olivia, can you lay down, please? Literally, I'm not kidding. I would say maybe 10% of my day consists of me trying to readjust my body so that I can make space to do what I have to do but also accommodate Olivia because whether I'm here or I'm on my bed, anytime I'm doing something with my laptop or a book or a journal, she has to be like right here. So it's really hard for me to like have something in front of me while she's also I mean, I wouldn't have it any other way, and I could definitely just like use my desk or my my table and chair set, but it's not the same, you know. You need you need puppy time during work time, I think. Oh, oh. 
I just realized how terrible this lighting is. <laughs> so bad. But um, just a tip when you guys are journaling, don't feel like you have to write an essay. If you want to make it short and sweet and do bullet points, that's like totally normal and okay. And it's really just about getting your thoughts out into the world, whether it's on paper or not. But I think it's important too that when you are journaling, you read it back to yourself out loud because saying things out loud is like the highest, most powerful form of attraction in terms of like getting the things that you want so like write it down however you want whether it's in bullet points which is what i personally do or if you want to write down like lengthy paragraphs that's okay too but repeat it back to yourself out loud because not only does it have that higher form of attraction but it helps you sometimes hear it and then sometimes a switch goes off where you're like oh that's really true like wow i never saw it that way or on the other end of it you might be like oh like yeah i actually don't need to be feeling like that <laughs> like it, it, it doesn't matter what it is but hearing yourself say it sometimes is like really like eye-opening so one of the things i'm going to be working on over the course of the next few weeks is adjusting my money mindset because i'm 25 and i've just gotten to a place in my life where I want to be working for myself, for one. I want to be a full-time actor, and I don't want to be stressed about finances or money ever again. And that's not to say that I want to be a multimillionaire. I mean, I'm sure that would be great, but I just want to be in a place where I have a constant positive flow of, in, of, in, of income <laughs> that... I don't have to stress and I want to be able to help my family and I want to be able to be financially independent and I want to have a different outlook on it and I think changing your mindset around things whether it's money or it's your body or your relationship or whatever it is literally your mind is so powerful like all of our minds olivia's mind like your mind it's so powerful what we're capable of when we just change our thought process a little bit and i really want to make it a priority to focus on my money mindset over the next couple of weeks so i found this website that has 50 journal prompts for manifesting money and I'm going to probably just limit myself to like three a day just so I don't get overwhelmed and I'm just gonna write them down and uh, journal about them and try to practice the things that I'm discovering as I go through it and I'm gonna see what ends up happening at the end of it because I think manifesting and your mindset is super powerful like I said and this is one of those things that again i'm 25 and i don't want to be in a position anymore where i'm working for other people or working like paycheck to paycheck like i just don't want to be in this roller coaster that i've been in for the last six years of living in la like sometimes i'm really good and i'm like killing it you know and then other times i'm struggling and i think that also comes with the whole like struggling actor concept but it doesn't always have to be like that um, and I think I, I'm, I'm at a place where I trust that the ideas I have and the talent that I have will get me to where I want to be financially but until then I think the first step is to change the mindset that I even have about money to begin with so yeah that's kind of what I'm doing right now on my computer I'm just looking up these prompts and then I'm gonna write them down in my journal and then answer them <laughs> I cannot make this up. I'm literally sitting here <laughs> writing down my first prompt of this journaling exercise that I was just telling you guys about. And I get an email for another acting gig that I booked. As I'm sitting here writing this down, <laughs> like, I'm telling you, this, it, it works. I'm sorry, I'm screaming, it, I'm sorry. but. It, it works like and literally yesterday when I was at the beach I said out loud to myself I was gonna book something so I'm just saying I'm actually gonna 
uh, post the link for the prompts that I'm doing in my description just so you guys can check them out too if you want, but yeah. That was good. Okay, can you guys go to the beginning? Alright, from the beginning, do you guys want to rip? 